Hi there. Today we will look at an example of how to pray the evening prayer or Vespers using the structure that we have recently learned. We will be using the example of Tuesday week one evening prayer, which can be found on page 417 onwards. We begin the evening prayer or Vespers by saying, O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Notice that when you begin the evening prayer, you make the sign of the cross as you say, O oh God, come to our aid, and so on. If there is a leader or deacon or priest available, then the leader, priest or deacon will be saying, Oh God, come to our aid. And the response from the rest of the faithful will be, Oh God, make haste to help us, followed by the glory be. After that, we come to the hymn. And the hymn is, O strength and stay, upholding all creation. Whoever does their self, unmoved abide. Yet day by day, the light in due gradation, from hour to hour, in all its changes guide. After reciting or singing the hymn, then we come to the Psalms and Canticles. The Psalms and Canticles begin with an antiphon. In this case, we will take one example, which is Psalm 19 or 20, with antiphon 1, which begins with, the Lord will give victory to his anointed one. And then we begin the psalm by saying, May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. After completing the psalm, we will say the glory be. And then after that, we will continue by saying the antiphon, which is, The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. The same goes for the second antiphon and the psalm. After the psalm, we recite the glory be and repeat the antiphon. And antiphon three, together with the canticle, at the end of the canticle, we pray the glory be, after which we will then end with antiphon three for the canticle. Then we go into scripture reading. Scripture reading, as I mentioned earlier, depends on whether there's a priest, deacon, and available and a leader available. If there's a priest, deacon, or leader available, then the scripture reading is usually read by someone other than the priest, deacon, or leader. Then we have the short responsory. Just as in morning prayer or lots, the short responsory is prayed in this way. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. You repeat, Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. You repeat the response, Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Then we say, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We do not complete the glory be. Instead, the response will be, your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Then you come to the Magnificat Antiphon. The Magnificat Antiphon is on page 420 in this example. And we say, My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Savior. The Magnificat can be found on page 376. When we pray the Magnificat, just as in the morning prayer, where we pray with the Benedictus, we begin by making the sign of the cross as we say, My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. At the end of the Magnificat, we will then pray the glory be by saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
After that, we repeat the magnificent antiphon. In this case, it will be, My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. We pray the intercessions by beginning with, Through Christ, we are sons of God. In Him, we see what we shall be when we come to the Father. With confidence, we pray. The response here is, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. After you come towards the end of the intercessions, just before the last intercession, we come out with our own personal intercessions. For example, we can pray for the victims of COVID-19, and then our response will be, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Then only we will pray the final intercession, which is usually for the dead. And in this example, it is, Receive the departed into your eternal kingdom. Sustain our hope to reign with you forever. And we repeat the response, which is, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Then we pray the Lord's Prayer. I'm sure many of us or most of us will know how to pray the Lord's Prayer by heart. And then we come to the concluding prayer. In this case, if the concluding prayer is being prayed by the leader, priest or deacon, then he will recite the whole thing. Otherwise, if you are praying on your own, then you will recite the whole thing on your own. After the concluding prayer, then if there's a priest, deacon or leader available, the priest or deacon especially will then give the special blessing according to the usual way. Otherwise, the leader would invite us to make the sign of the cross as we say. And this can be found on page 379. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. If the priest or deacon is available, then this prayer is usually omitted. But if there's no priest or deacon available, and there's a leader available, or if you are praying on your own, then we use this prayer instead. As we can see, learning to pray the evening prayer or Vespers is quite similar to learning how to pray the morning prayer. As long as we remember the structure, learning to pray it is just a matter of knowing which pages to turn. We will look further into certain important points about the morning evening prayer, as well as special symbols that we will need to look at in the next lessons. Till then, see you and have a nice day.